God is like a factory. Even in our old age, she shall be a fruit. But in Jesus, I have prayed. I did get an angel. She's a librarian. Essay. Unto God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And I pray that from now on, you shall assign a special angel that shall be with her and protect her. All through her days. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Do something for Jesus, right? Celebrate Jesus wherever you are. It's time for the prayer school. Call on our sister, sister, and friends. Nadia, come and give us the prayer school. Celebrate Jesus as she comes forward. Celebrate Jesus as she comes forward. Oh, 
down, braces, long hair, feminine figures and characteristics it is you. We must amend our ways because the Lord comes to fire in his hands to destroy all those who will not conform to his ways. And rapture who and rapture who has made themselves ready to meet him. I will stop here because of time. As we comply to this word for the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word and the word has come to us. See that the outcome of your word shall not come back to you in God. But it must accomplish that which you have sent it to you. Jehovah that shall die. Help us, O Lord of heaven, and as we believe the doers of this word and not the hearers only. Grant us grace, O Lord Jehovah, to obey your word. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord.
you will give up. And that's why why the church is always reminded again from time to time just to give messages. Go on evangelism, go and see. Because not that the church doesn't want to go, but it's frustrating. Praise the Lord. It's frustrating. You do it and go and do and do before you want to start again. It will be as if it's not working. The devil, the environment, the man, the, the, the enemy of man, which is the flesh, living with man, three of them will join hand and make sure that you, your work you will not be successful. You will go back again. It will take you a long time to master college to go again. And from, from time to time, the church will just pass life in that soul winning venture. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Winning is the act of overcoming something. Overcoming something. What it is, or when it gives it, there must be a contest. There must be a battle for you to come out on top. Squeezing others and coming out on top. It also means bringing someone over to your own side. Praise the Lord. So, my teaching goes in three broad uh, subtopics, namely understanding the task of God. Number two, understanding the method. Number three, understanding the tools. Amen. So under understanding the task, let's go to the book of um, Matthew chapter 28, from verse 18 to 20. The first book of the uh, gospel, sorry, and the New Testament, which introduced Jesus to the whole world. And that's the first book where that instruction of Jesus to go into all the world. So let's read it. That place first before we go to the next one. Someone can help me to read. 28, 18 to, to, uh, 18 to 20. Or to avoid waste of time, let me read. My translation is the message Bible. Jesus on that tag went right ahead and gave his charge. God authorized commanded me to command, commission you, go out and train everyone you need, far and near, in this way of life, making them by baptism, marking them by baptism in the threefold name, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Then instruct them in the practice of all I have commanded you. I will be with you as you do this day after day, right up to the end of the age. Praise the Lord. When somebody is in James, please speak for me so that it will be clearer. Me. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Yes. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Amen. So the mandate Jesus gave after he had appeared, told them that he had conquered. He now told everyone that believed in him and said, Go, ye to all the world. Go ye to all the world. And seek and make him disciples of all nations. Praise the Lord. That's number one. You have to go. You have to move from where you are. You have to make movements from where you are to all the world, starting from your immediate environment to progress. The target is the whole world, no limit. Praise the Lord. And when you now get to that whole world, what you will do is you make the disciples. And who are disciples? Who is a disciple? A disciple is a follower. Make them interested to follow Jesus. Praise the Lord. And be 
is a very, very difficult task, especially because the world has already been colonized by sin and idol worship. Coming to someone who is comfortable in their idol worship, in their sin and all, and telling them that they should not follow your own way, it will be very difficult to forgive them. Praise the Lord. And that is where signs and wonders come in. Because when Jesus did his own, he used signs. There was a spiritual, supernatural intervention showing that he was not speaking by himself and also that he was not advertising something that is dead, advertising a very, something that is very effective. And that made many people to believe in him. Now going to all the world, many believers, as I'm telling, talking to you right now, the whole world has been evangelized. Amen. We have evangelized the whole world. But how many people have been discipled? That's another question. So you and I that are starting today, our assignment is not just to go and preach, but to make that disciple. Amen. Amen. And it's a higher task. Because as for hearing the word of God, the whole world of heaven. Are they Muslims? They have heard. Are they Hindus? They have heard. Are they called and worshippers? They have all heard. But have they believed? No. Now, making them believe, that's why it's a stronger task. Why? Because it is hard to change a man, especially an adult. It is hard to change somebody from what they have been doing before that they are used to. Changing takes hmm, a lot. But God promises that, Jesus promised that He will be with us in the end of time, making it possible. Amen. Number uh, two is to all nations. Number three is baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So after you have found them, which are all nations, you preach, preach to them if they believe in baptized. Then number four is you teaching them to observe. After you have preached, the next thing is to teach them to observe all the, the things that Christ has taught us. And that is why the church comes in. When I mean church, church is the training ground where people are made to be like Christ. Amen. People who are supposedly saved from the evangelistic moves, they brought them to the church, and that is where they are now transformed to be like Christ. And from church, they are supposed to be heaven. Amen. Okay. Therefore, the Great Commission is more than a single or common task to evangelize the world. It is to teach and to develop them. A process that we to evangelize to reach the unchurched, who are usually lost sinners and make them aware of their sin. Bring them step by step closer to accepting Christ. Upon conversion, they go from darkness to light, where they are baptized and identified to the local church. The process continues as we help them become Christ-like by teaching them what the Bible has taught us and all of Jesus commanded through the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Great Commission gives us a mandate, but there is the next step is understanding the Lord. Two methods known is confrontational evangelism and lifestyle evangelism. Praise the Lord. Confrontation. And this involves going to evangelism, money cry, it is seen as confronting people without hearing how they may take it. So many courage and being bold, as bold as Peter was on the Pentecost day. Bible said that Peter, without fear, addressed the crowd. He did not start thinking, how would they see this? They may, they, will, they may begin to say I'm invading their privacy. He did not consider that. He was so moved by the Holy Spirit that he unashamed, lessly and fearlessly spoke it the way it was. And the Bible said that after that ministration, 3,000 was added to the church. 3 or 5,000. Praise the Lord. Even now that confrontation is because of so much conviction you have in Christ, Boldness empowered by the Spirit, you fearlessly approach them. 
But after talking to them, and then I walk, lifestyle evangelism comes in. Praise the Lord. Because even the unchurched, I was teaching us on the uh, what, uh, Friday or uh, Thursday. We are talking about the unchurched. We have the unsaved. The unsaved and the unchurched. Praise the Lord. Unsaved are the people who though they are in church, they have heard about Christ, but they have not repented. Why the unchurched are those people who did not even, they don't even come to church before. They are, they are in a place where there is hardly a church, and even if there was a church, they have not crossed. They are not familiar with God, Godly things. Praise the Lord. Father, that to take these kind of people to save them is much more harder. They, you have to move them from that stage to the church first, or making them familiar with Godly and churchly things so that they are not able to save them. So these unchurched, at times, lifestyle evangelism goes a long way with them before you begin to confront them. Amen. Because they will first of all see that Christ and you see that you are different. And they begin to be curious. What exactly makes this person be like this? Why is this person different? By the time they begin to ask, you answer them. And by that time, advertise Christ to them. Many people are discouraged from even being saved today because Christians are failing in lifestyle evangelism. Praise the Lord. They are failing. They are trying to be like others. They are doing everything possible to look like the world while professing with their mouths and churchly activities that they are for Christ. And I'm church, I am so church. When he has not seen the difference between you and him in character, in dressing and everything, why would he want to go and join you? Amen. Why would he want to come and join you? You are the same. You don't know, understand that thing you're saying about Jesus and all that. It's those people who have come in contact with true Christianity, tasted a little bit of Christ's generosity. Those are the people that, if you now begin to bring the gospel to this, say, Sister, I really want to know about this thing. You now stand the chance of convincing them. Am I right? We are failing generally today, not because we are not talking. People are going to want to cry every day. We are going on crusades every day. They have heard that they have seen, they are, they are tired. They want to see a real lifestyle and evangelism. And the Bible says, and Jesus began to teach and do. Amen. He teaches and do. Even when it comes to uh, giving charity, um, gifts and all that, celebrities do that soon today, don't they? Huh. Some of them even give more than most churches. But after giving those things, what do they do? They will still sell you sexualism, advertise to you, boyfriend, and all kinds of negative things. And when you now compare celebrities from your church world, the other one is more overwhelming. You follow his own. But you the church, you get in the hand and Praise the Lord. I need to give my about that Christ in me as a so deep and so much that was she from our lifestyle, but it's a time and very, very well. By the way, God on our work. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we have I go to understanding the tools. There are gifts. Jesus gave us to do this evangelism. This so we like I emphasize. On Wednesday, Thursday, and it's, it's not just evangelism, it's so weird. Evangelism is going to seek them, saving them. But after saving them, they are still in a period stage. Like when you go home, 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 you go all the care, all the love, even when you make a woman survive with one while, he can walk in there and make a short lap here for one day. Nay, near with the beginning. So we don't want to fall from that dangerous stage by getting one lap. 
Here I go down for the Lord has not gone down. From Portland, he moved to the next step. The next step becomes an adult. Then you raise the kids. Praise the Lord. As an adult now, he can go far. But you still have to keep watch. There are some level of keeping watch. That is what it is. People who are comfortable in their life in the world, they don't watch their kids. Following in sin and all that, without knowing their life, you cannot keep watch. You cannot keep watch. You cannot keep watch. You cannot keep watch. Without knowing their life, you cannot tell them that they are going to be, that they are going to hell, and they are going to be destroyed. You want to walk with the Holy Spirit, and eventually you convince them they came to Christ. You now abandon them. Is it not better you left them before? You should have left them. I think 